So you learned a lot about querying documents. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to update documents in a MongoDB database. So let's create a new function, async function update course. Now this function should take an ID. That's the ID of the course we're going to update. And then here, we're going to replace this with update course. Now, there are basically two ways to update a document in MongoDB. One approach is what I call query first. So we find a document using find by ID, then we modify its properties, and then finally call the save method. This is probably the approach that you have used in other frameworks. Now, the other approach is what I call update first. So instead of retrieving a document first, we go in the database and update directly. Now we can optionally get the updated document as well. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you the first approach and we'll look at the other approach or the next video. So let's delete all this code. Here we want to get the course with the given ID. So course dot find by ID. We pass this ID here. Now this returns a promise. So we await it, get the result and store it here. Now chances are there is no course with the given ID. So we need to check for that. So if we don't have a course, we're going to return immediately. Otherwise, we're going to update the properties of this course. So we can set course that is published to true and also author to another author. Now there's another approach. Instead of setting multiple properties, we can call the set method. So course dot set, here we pass an object with key value pairs to be updated. So we can set is published to true and author to another author. So basically, these two approaches are identical. Which one you choose is purely your personal preference. Now in this demo, I'm going to use the first approach. Now finally, we call the save method. This is the same method that we used earlier to create a new course. So it returns a promise. We can await it, get the result, and display it on the console. So console.log result. Now I'm going to go back in Compass and get a valid course ID. All right, so here in a courses collection, I'm going to grab this course ID and paste it here. Now back in the terminal, let's run this program. So here's the course that we updated. Look, author is set to another author. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to update a document directly in the database without retrieving it first.